Hello again and welcome. Recently I made a video where I was comparing the Bryman BM869S against a Hioki DT4282. A viewer had asked a question as far as these dual thermocouple meters. Basically what they were asking is how would this second thermocouple even work because these two are shorted to ground through their shunts and the fuses. My response to that is that the low current input is switched. You can see we're measuring 101.75 and that's in the milliamp. Here we are in the amp jack and it's 0.1 ohm or so. Both of these meters basically read the same thing. We'll just try it real quick. So here we are at 101.8 and here we are in the amps jack at 0.04. Now this meter on the left, this meter has been through all of my testing. So you'll notice on here uh, 50,000 life cycle test. Of course there is a video for that where I've taken a stepper motor and I'm rotating the switch fully clockwise and then fully counterclockwise and I consider that one cycle. So they were asking how did these contacts change after thousands of cycles? Well so again this meter has been exposed to 50,000 full rotation cycles. Unfortunately when I do those tests I'm only looking at one contact. So I'm assuming that they're all basically behaving the same way. Of course, we take the meters apart and we look at how the contacts and plastics are all wearing. But I think that this viewer is really interested in this one particular contact. And it sounds like they may be concerned because you're putting a lot of current through it. So what I'd like to do is, first of all, let's just demonstrate that the switch actually does happen. So you can see as I rotate it to the milliamp, you can see it now reads 1.72 ohms versus the microamps at 101. We can compare these two meters. Let's just see, so 1.77 and 101.79. So now what we'll do, we'll select the temperature input and let's go ahead and measure the input resistance. And you can see it measures, I don't know, 2.1 meg or so. Again, let's just go back to the milliamp setting and you can see it's reading back at 1.17. So what they've done is they've taken this low current input, they pass it through this function switch. So when you're in the temperature mode, they open up that shunt to ground. Of course, this input here doesn't change. You can see it's still reading uh, 0.05 ohms or so. But I think what they're asking is what's really the effect after you've cycled this thing thousands of times. So there's a few different tests we can do. The first thing we can do is place these two meters in series. And let's just see how accurately they measure the current. So for that, we'll just be using our little test box. And we're going to start with a 100 microamp signal. And you can see both meters are reading 98.36. What we'll do is we'll place this BM788BT across each meter. And let's look at the burden voltage. So you can see 10.01 millivolts and let's try our other meter so and again 10.00 so you can see at least as far as measuring the current it's not really had an effect and you're not going to expect that because even if the switch contact varies a little bit it is current and they're measuring across the shunt not across that switch contact so this should be still quite accurate let's just notch this down so this is at uh, 10 microamps and here we're at one microamp. And you can see uh, both meters are basically reading the same value. I think I had a little bit of glare on the screen. So again, here's one microamp. And here's 10 microamps. And again, here's 100 microamps. What I'd like to do next is compare the temperature. So what we're going to do is use this Micromite Plus. Now this is not calibrated at all. Now you can see this is currently set for 58.1. Now this is variable. You can adjust it down or up. And then it has different thermocouple type inputs. So this is currently set for a K type. That's compatible with the meters. So right now it's set for 71.3 degrees Celsius. And you can see our Bryman BM788 BT is measuring 71.1. Now, this is probably the closest I have to an actual calibrated meter. This was supplied by Bryman, and I assume that this has actually been through their factory calibration. 
So let's just see how close these meters compare. First of all, let's just try it on the second thermocouple. And we do that by selecting the range switch. So here we are on T2 and you can see it's reading 71.0. Now let's look at the Brahman BM869S. So again, here's T1. And you can see it's measuring 70.9. Let's try it on the second thermocouple. And you can see it's reading 71. Assuming that comes in. Let's try it on our second meter. And again, this has been through 50,000 cycles. Here it is on T1. So 70.5. And here it is on T2. It's 70.6. Let's go ahead and we'll take this up a little bit. This meter has a high and a low range. We'll go ahead and select high. And you can see we're pretty close to 1200 degrees. So I don't remember what the upper limit of these meters are. But let's just see what this measures on our BM788BT. And here you have it. So 1193. And let's try it with the original BM869S and 1193.1 let's try it on t2 and 1193 let's try it on the one that's been through the life cycle test and we get 1192.7 and this is on t2 and we're getting 1192 so even after 50,000 cycles on this switch this has really had no effect as far as measuring the temperature or as far as measuring the current. So hopefully that's answered this viewer's questions. For the next video, I'm going to be back to looking at this Hioki meter. My plan is to either repair this or I'm going to attempt to make it more robust than what it was from the factory. Until then, we'll see you later.